Not only is this the cheapest per watt solar generator that's on the market right now, especially for what you get, but it's also the most efficient inverter of all of the solar generators that I've tested so far. This is the Avery P310. My name's Ben, this is the Minuteman Solar YouTube channel, and I've had this for a couple of months and I've been doing non-stop testing on it to see if this really is a good unit and if it's one that you should use for backup or portable power. I've tested over 50 different aspects of this so that way I could know if it was a system that I could recommend or not. My opinion cannot be purchased, this is just my honest review of this unit. And you can also use my free solar generator comparison chart to see how this compares to everything else on the market. So I'm gonna go over what it's used for, what it can do, what it can't do, how much does it cost, what are the other units that are comparable to this, and if not this then what you should get instead. So let's go over all of the specs and information about it and then I'll get into the nitty-gritty details of what I got out of it. First of all the Afery P310 is the largest unit that Afery offers. It's designed for a larger backup power, RV power, off-grid living, and camping. It has a 3600 watt pure sine wave inverter and it will peak up to 7200 watts. So if you turn on a large inductive load, such as a shop vac or a chop saw or a table saw, anything that's going to have a large load turning on, this will be able to handle it just fine. It has five AC outlets. Four of them are 20 amp outlets on the front. And then the fifth one is a TT30 RV plug rated to the full 30 amps of output power. In my testing, I was able to sustain 3,600 watts of nonstop draw from this until the battery emptied. But one of the most impressive things about this is I got 95% efficiency out of it at a 0.2 C discharge. And all that means is I took 20% of the rated capacity and I put that into a load off of this unit and ran it until it went empty. And I got 3,648 watt hours from it from these AC outlets. And the UPS function is one of the best that I've seen out there. At less than 10 milliseconds, this thing will not have any problems of continuing to run vital equipment after the grid power goes down. That means if you keep the wall charger on this and say you're running a sump pump, a refrigerator, Wi-Fi, any type of electronic, this will continue running that device without any hesitation at all as soon as grid power is lost. But there was one major issue that I did have with this unit and I was surprised to see that it was this bad. The idle power consumption for my testing was about 56 watt hours an hour. But some people did other tests where they got as low as 36 watt hours an hour. So you have to have some give and take there. I'm not sure what yours will do, but mine got 56 watt hours an hour which is definitely on the high side for idle power consumption, which is just how much energy it uses to be turned on with the inverter going, but not running anything. When you're using this as a UPS, you can get up to 1500 watts of charging going into it, but that also means you're gonna be limited to 1500 watts of output while having the UPS function. So if you need to run something more than 1500 watts, the UPS function is not gonna work because it exceeds the charge rate for this unit. Just like all solar generators, this is not grounded when it's not connected to the ground grid, but it is grounded when you're wall charging it. One of the very positive things about the inverter is that it stayed at 120 volts output even when it was running a very heavy load at 3600 watts. And the lowest voltage that I saw was 110 volts when exceeding 3600 watts. But for the most part, it would stay between 118 and 120 volts, which is very impressive that it holds that voltage so high. The fans can be a little loud on this. I measured 63 decibels when it was running full power. Normally, I'm not running 3600 watts off of it. I generally ran a refrigerator or Wi-Fi or freezer or small basic items and with that the fans only turned on periodically and for a short amount of time and they were much quieter than 63 decibels. I did do a refrigerator test. I connected my fridge to the P310 and it ran for 30 hours non-stop without any solar input or wall charging. You can run the AC outlets and the DC outlets all at the same time. What you have here for USB is two USB-A rated to 18 watts. And then you have three USB-C rated to 20 watts and one USB-C rated to 100 watts. There's a 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter port, two five millimeter barrel connectors, and then this 25 amp 12 volt XT60 output. That's really impressive, especially if you're running a lot of 12 volt equipment. I'd attach this to a fuse block and then distribute that to a bunch of 12 volt appliances, and that would be really cool. The battery capacity is similar to what you'd find on an Anchor Solix F3800 at 3,840 watt hours. 
but it can be expanded with two expansion batteries of the same capacity, just like you'd see on the EcoFlow Delta Pro. The main difference is though that this has more battery capacity than the Delta Pro and will go up to 11.5 kilowatt hours or 11,520 watt hours of total battery capacity. They are proprietary batteries, so you can't use a servo rack battery or just a generic lithium iron phosphate battery, but this does use lithium iron phosphate cells and is rated to the typical 3,500 cycles. From front to back, it's 23 inches by 13 inches wide and 18 inches tall. It will also operate on its back, so if you tilt this whole thing up and put it back here, there's a rubber pad for it to land on, and at least for the output side, it's not a problem to run any of that, but you couldn't have any inputs because all of the inputs are on the back. But this is pretty hefty at 88 pounds. I'm able to move it around by myself with not much of a problem, but if you're not accustomed to moving that much weight, definitely have a second person. But you also do have a telescoping handle that comes out, as well as these four inch wheels on the back that make it really easy to move it around. One of the most interesting things is, is that it has this dial on the front, and this is a charge dial so you can go anywhere from 300 watts all the way up to 1500 watts of different charge speed. This is a really cool feature to have on the unit as a manual dial because if for any reason my circuit that I'm trying to charge this on is also running something else, I don't wanna overload the circuit and pop the breaker. So this would allow me to dial it down very quickly and easily without having to get into the app. So the fastest wall charging speed is 1500 watts, but I predominantly like to recharge my systems on solar. So I went ahead and connected four 400 watt solar panels in series because the solar charge parameter of the Afri P310 is from 12 to 160 volts and up to 20 amps. Afri gives it a rating of 2000 watts of solar input, but in order to accomplish that, you'd want to have two groups of four panels and each of those panels be 400 watts. It's that, or you could get 10 to 12 200 watt panels, put them in a group of five or six, double that up, and then you could get the 2000 watts. That would probably be a better setup for portability, but 200 watt solar panels cost about the same as 400 watt solar panels. So there you would need to choose if you're doing more of a portable setup or a stay at home setup. For either the 200 watt or 400 watt solar panels, I like to use the Minuteman Solar Portable Solar Panel Stands, which you can find on the website poweredportablesolar.com, which will soon be minutemansolar.com. And these simply bolt to any framed solar panel and then anchor down. So regardless of the wind and the weather, this system will stay in place and you don't have to worry about the panels flipping over and breaking. It's about a 150 foot run from my four solar panels all the way to where I had the P310. And I was able to get 1,250 watts out of a 1,600 watt array. So I felt like it did really well for having 1,600 watts connected. One of the nice things is that they do include the solar charger. You'd be surprised how many companies no longer include the solar adapter that you need to connect solar panels to this but it uses an XT90 connector, which is rated up to 90 amps. Now MC4 connectors are only rated up to 30 amps and this 12 gauge cable is only rated to about 25 amps. So in the end, they did provide an adapter that's capable of handling all 20 amps of solar input with this without any issues. It also included a standard wall charger. You don't need an adapter brick or anything. It's just a C13 plug and I always like to see that. So if you wanna make life even easier, I would do four 450 watt panels rather than 400 watt panels and that'd get you up to 1800 watts or just do 10 to 12 of the 200 watt panels for the more portable system. When I used my sound meter to check the decibels while this was charging, it only went up to 40 decibels. So that's pretty low. That's whisper quiet. And so if this is charging next to you and not running a heavy load, it seems like it's gonna be really quiet. One of the coolest things is how much power this will input if it's solar charging and wall charging at the same time. You can see this here, how much I'm getting between the solar input and the wall charging input all at the same time. You could realistically charge this in just over an hour by combining AC and DC input. But if you only have the solar input, it's really only gonna take two or three hours to get fully charged. This does not have a dark start option, meaning it won't turn itself back on and continue running the loads. When you plug it into a wall outlet or when solar panels start recharging it the next day, it will turn itself back on. But if it drained itself down to zero and turned off the AC output, it will not automatically turn on the AC output once again. This is only $1,400. When you break that down, comparing the inverter, battery, and solar all together, that comes to a whole watt price of only 48 cents. There are varying discounts that you can get, so I'll put my discount link down below. But with that, you should be able to get it almost another 20% off bringing the whole watt price on this down to about 40 cents. You can see how this compares to other units as well, just on the battery. But overall, this is an extremely affordable system, and so far I have not had any issues with it. So the unit itself is one that I definitely like and I'm recommending, but 
the company itself, Avery, is where I have a little bit of concern. There's no phone number on the website and there's not one in the user manual either. So I did not like the fact that I could not get a hold of them directly by phone, but I did find their days and hours listed on their website and there is a chat available. I submitted a question because nowhere in the user manual or online did it state what the maximum amperage was for the charge controller. So I sent them that message and they did get back to me within 24 hours, so I really appreciate that but I don't prefer only having email interaction because it can take a long time to get an answer, such as a simple answer of how many amps should I go up to? But one of the big positives is that this has a seven year warranty. The longest warranties that I've seen on any other units out there has been 10 years. So the fact that this has a seven year is still very impressive because most companies are still only providing three to five year warranties. But is this the unit that I'd recommend the most for this size? There are really three other units that I was comparing to the Afri P310, and that was the Anchor Solox F3000, the Pecron E3600, and the Bluetti Apex 300. They all have some pros and cons. Between this unit and those three, this is by far the cheapest if you use my coupon code down below. The F3000 is basically 1700, the Pecron E3600 is just under 1300, and the Apex 300 is about 1800. So in terms of price, this one wins. By comparison on inverter, the Anchor Solix F3000 and the Pecron E3600 have the same size inverter as the P310, but this one is more efficient, meaning I'm gonna get more power from it. But it also had the highest idle power consumption of those, so there's kind of a give and take, but the Apex 300 only goes up to 3072, so this one definitely has a better inverter than the Apex 300. And in terms of built-in battery capacity, this at 3.84 kilowatt hours beats all three of the others because the F3000 and the E3600 are just under 3.1 kilowatt hours and the Apex 300 is just under 2800 watt hours. But then one of the most important things, really the lifeblood of the system is the solar input. And by comparison to all three of those other units, those three units win. Which is ironic because this has really good solar input in terms of the solar input parameter, but it's rated up to 2000 watts. And the other three units can go up to 2400 watts. So if you're dependent on solar input only, those other units are gonna be a little bit better. But the things that really made the P310 stand out from all of the others is one, the seven year warranty, two, the 95% efficiency out of the inverter, and three, the ultimate low price. In addition to that, the AC and DC charging combined is super fast on this. And I even let one of my friends take this to go camping over a weekend in their small RV. And after a whole weekend, they brought it back with still over 30% of the battery and they didn't do any solar charging or wall charging while camping. All of that's very impressive. It's got a great price, great expandability, great output power, good solar input, easy to use functions, and the app is also pretty decent. I did have a hard time finding the app at first. You'd think it'd be called the Afury app, but it's not. It's called Bright EMS. Super weird name, but it is a fully functioning app where I'm able to control a lot of settings in it. Not only can I control the USB output, the DC output, and the AC output, but if I go into the settings, I have all sorts of controls here. Especially under energy management, I can control how much I want this to charge and discharge. And I even have the option to do AC silent charging, so it never charges fast enough that it's gonna be really loud. So if you're in a tight space, that means a lot. There are lots of other features in the app, and I found it very basic and simple to use with enough features to have all the controls that I wanted over the P310. But one red flag is the customer service. Having a live chat is helpful if I'm by a computer. Not having a phone number is definitely a concern because if I have to go use this out somewhere else away from my computer, it's not gonna be as easy to do the chat back and forth if I have a question about it. Really the other big con, and the one thing that they're really missing out on is that this doesn't have the ability to do split phase power. Meaning you can't put two of these units together to run a 240 volt power to a whole house. I really wish they had that feature built Built in. And maybe that's one of the reasons why it's so much more affordable than all the other units on the market because pretty much every other unit of this size has the ability to put two units together to get split phase or even has split phase power already built into it. So in my opinion, if I needed portable power that's expandable with good solar input and a really good price, then the Afri P310 fits every single one of those. But I wanna know in the comments down below, would you buy this? And if not, what do you think is better and why would you buy that one instead? What do you think is missing from the P310? What things do you like and dislike about it? So if you wanna see how this compares directly to the other units on the market, I'm gonna leave one video here and one video right here 
to the top two units that I put head to head against the Afri P310. I appreciate you watching, especially to the end of this video. Please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And if you need help finding a system that's going to work for your needs, just shoot me an email to info at minutemansolar.com and I'd be happy to help you find a system that's going to run everything that you need. And if you think the Afri P310 is the right unit for you, then my discount code will be in the links down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.